In this tutorial, we will be showing you how to add a post for an event on Google My Business. So the dashboard screen we're looking at here is what you'll see the moment you log in. If you have your browser logged into your, your Google account, you would basically just Google Google My Business, click through the first result, and it will take you to this page. So the particular post we're going to do today is going to be an event. So if you go on the left and click on posts, you're going to see a, a list of things you can post. Specifically, you can add an event, you can add an offer, a product, or an update. You can also scroll down here and see some of your previous posts. To the extent that you need some inspiration or a reminder of how it should look, you would just scroll down to what you've done before. But if this is your first time, that's not a problem. We're actually going to approach this as if we've never done it before. So we're going to add an event. So we would click on the Add Event button. And once we're here, it's very important for us to add a photo. Now, this is a real estate brokerage. So the event type we're adding will be an open house. And obviously, the way you attract uh, buyers and potential attendees is to show a photo or a video of the property. So in this case, we're going to add a photo. Now, once you click on that gray box, it's going to give you the, the upload box. So hopefully what we can do now is we can actually take a photo and we can actually drag it into that upload box. Give it a second to load and it looks good. So now in the event title, we want to, in this case, put the address of the property. So we're just going to pull the address right here and we'll do something like this. And the price, let's see what it is, 1.225 million and it's in the Murray Hill neighborhood of Manhattan. So we'll update the price and we'll put Murray Hill. Oh, looks like it's too long. So maybe we do this. Yeah, okay. So it looks like we're unable to make it any longer. So in that case, we'll just forget about the neighborhood and remove that. And then we're going to add an event time. Specifically, the open house is on the 16th from 1 to 3. So in here, we'll make the, obviously make the start date the 16th, we'll make the end date the 16th, and uh, we'll start obviously at 1 p.m. And we will add end at uh, not 3 a.m., certainly not the case. We want to end at 3 p.m. There you go. So let's see, there might be another option here to add more details. And perhaps what we can do is we can actually copy and paste the event title into the details and then maybe we can just adjust it a little bit. See, so it's allowing us to put a little bit more information there and uh, what we could also do possibly is to actually take the link of the property and we can go ahead and possibly paste that into the event details. Okay, so just to summarize, we've put the photo, we've put the event title, we've added the event date and time, we've also added a little bit of a description here. And then we may also want to add a button. So we could do, uh, I would say, learn more. And in the learn more, we would probably want to put the link to the contact us form for our company's website. And that way we would make sure that anyone who is interested in the property reaches out to us instead of possibly being redirected. If we were to put a link to a third party website, it is possible that another agent would be connected to them instead of the uh, listing agent. So in the learn more, we would put the link to our contact page on our website, and then let's click preview. It should show us what it will look like. Oh, 
Okay. Only suggestion I would make, I guess, to myself would be to put the URL for the contact info for the firm here as well. And then possibly up here, we would put listing information or we could put listing details since we've already used the word information for the below. Preview it one more time. Okay, looks good to us. So we're gonna go ahead and hit publish. And it says live on Google. So you can click view on search as well. And then it will open up a new tab, which should show you basically what the Google search results would be for your business by way of just putting in your business name on the top left. And then you should be able to see down here below reviews, there will be a post section and it looks like it's just added it right there. The post should also appear down here below the post section in the sidebar. And that's really the main benefit of doing this. You want your customers to actually see that you're active on Google by way of results appearing directly in SERP. And regardless of what type of business you're engaged in, it's strongly encouraged that you start using pretty much all of the features that Google is beckoning you to use, primarily because they have a lot of influence online for obvious reasons. If they want you to do something, chances are it's beneficial to you to do it, and it may very well result in you looking more favorably online and possibly triggering some sort of Google algorithm that would be in your favor to trigger as it relates to your appearance on the Google search results. If you have any questions, leave us a comment below the video. But otherwise, we wish you the best of luck out there as you run your business.